The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit the angels and your higher self dr jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that'll strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition now here's your host dr jen royster Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and we are going to talk about creativity and self-expression and going with the flow today with Archangel Gabriel. It's perfect timing, really, to talk about Gabriel and how Gabriel can work with you and be there of assistance as you're guided through your self-inner journey. Uh, We just moved into the Gemini sign for energy which was on May 21st, so that'll go about a month. And this is a good energy that aligns with the same thing we're talking about. It um, Gemini is all about very similar to what Gabriel can help you with as well. So that's what we're going to talk about today. A um, couple of things I want to point out that I thought were really interesting. Um, okay, first of all, if you are new to Gabriel or Archangels or anything like that. Gabriel is a pretty popular one because you hear of him, you know, in different uh, belief systems and holidays, uh, different texts, different writings. But he is the messenger. He's considered the messenger angel. And his name means God is my strength. And when I started thinking about the God is my strength, what is that? Well, the way it is for me is it's an inner strength god is your inner strength and inner strength has been a focus this year to really take us inward so we can learn who we really are and strengthen and embrace that because that's how you will be your strongest is to be true to yourself so i absolutely love that i love that part another one is the whole theme of 2019 is go with the flow It's also in numerology, a number three year. And what is that? We've spoke about it before in other shows, but just to give you a quick gist, it's a mind, body, and soul alignment and balancing. Everything working together in harmony. What does that mean? That means if mind, body, and soul are in alignment, they're all three on the same page. Your beliefs, okay, your emotions, your Your soul is, and that would be being true to yourself. So in order for that to align, that's mind and body needs to kind of get on page with your soul. So you see, it's all bringing us down this journey inward to be true to ourselves, to really find out who we are in an authentic way. I mean, we've gone years, centuries, thousands of years really putting a mask on, I guess, and, and, and just dealing with and being, you know, to survive life. This is different because of such changing energy. It's really making the whole entire world really evolve and change and grow. So, you know, it's, it's not that it's not challenging at times. There's plenty of that and you'll feel it personally. You'll see it out there. There'll be people that resist it. You might be resisting it sometimes. But honestly, if you start to go with the flow and just see where it takes you, you might be really surprised and learn a lot about yourself that you were discounting, you were ignoring, you weren't accepting that are actually a strength for you in a positive way. The shadow side of us comes into play too because accepting that and embracing and understanding that side of us that we probably don't like very much there's a strength to find in that and you don't have to it's like not accept okay i'm going to just go out and be this terrible person i'm not saying that i'm saying 
look to see what you can learn from that side of you because sometimes that's a very big teacher in our lives a very positive teacher a couple of other things that line up with the three right now is it's a number three year and earth is the third planet in our solar system so we are that 3d world here right but we've got 40 and 5d lifestyle moving in so you know even though we're in a 3d physical world you can be living at a higher frequency and that's been interesting because that's kind of new for all of us it's the year of creativity self-expression remember that alignment gemini which i was mentioning earlier gemini is the third sign in the zodiac so there's a lot of threes involved here and then we have gabriel and what's gabriel about gabriel is all about helping you express your true self, helping you communicate that to the world, helping you discover what that is and being creative. Gabriel is a wonderful angel for, if you work with children, anything new that you need to nurture. It's a beautiful sign, a uh, beautiful angel, beautiful sign to work with. This entire alignment right now to me is like match made in heaven, if you want to say play on words, but it, it's like bringing heaven to earth for, for me personally, because I feel like, oh, wow, I love creativity. I, I love the fact that we're all learning to be who we really are and not be afraid of what that is and to not be afraid to show that to the world. And then you attract in the people that you align with instead of, and you'll find that other people fall away when you do that, but they probably weren't in alignment to begin with. And it was all an illusion it was all false it was a it was a mass that wasn't real when you think about it that way you go who wants to stay in that right so that's some of the things that we have going on now some of the things that gemini does is it's it's the ruler over thoughts our mind our creativity like i said um and it's it's about getting into that deeper. So if you are a creative person anyway, and you're, if you're a writer, you're in the arts, any can, anything like that, we all have creativity. And some people claim I'm not creative at all. It's interesting because you probably are more than you think because we all have that. Just some people just, you know, have, they spend more time in that energy. Um, but it's interesting with Gemini because, you know, it's a sign of twins, right? Well, you have that creativity, you have self-expression, you have, you know, that ability to communicate that, which Gabriel can help you with. Gabriel can help you ground into the positive aspects and what you can take out of this energy the most, because there's this other side of Gemini that is a little bit, uh, can overthink it. It wants the facts, it wants the truth, it can push, it can then get too heady. It's an air sign, so it can get deep into thought and then overanalyze. And those are the people, or when you're in that mindset, you feel like you can't find your creativity, you see? So that's that other flip side of the Gemini energy that you can work with and go, you know what, I am overthinking this. This is where go with the flow comes back in again. Go with the flow is going to just be repetitive this year because that's what it expects. It's expecting us. You're going to get surprised if you start settling in and getting too comfortable that, okay, this is it. It's set in stone. I'm done with it. And I'm recommending don't go there. I'm recommending just, just have this little part of you going, you know what, it, this is my plan and I'm going to go that way, but just expect things to be a surprise at times and practice not letting it destroy your entire day when that happens. Okay. That's one of the things that it will help you with. And, and then not to beat yourself up because, well, I thought I had a good plan and it just went crazy. The universe is interesting right now because it, there's plans that we make and we're, we're trying to figure this out. But then at the same time, it wants us to go with the flow. It wants us to, ride the wave and let it, let us kind of not try to control it too much, but just see where it takes you. That would be part of the alignment with the soul, mind, body, mind, you know, the whole thing. And, 
you know, it, when you think about it, then your head starts going, okay, wait, did I understand that right? I don't know if I did or not. Just different things like that can be very, very interesting with it. Um, it's, it's going to address, this is a really good time, and it's also a very positive time. So I am telling you some of the challenges of it, like overthinking, overanalyzing, really, those are the two right there that could trip you up a little bit and just catch it and go, you know what, I'm overthinking this. Let me just try something. And don't be afraid for it to not work out. Just and go, okay, let me pull back and try something else. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, and then the other thing is it will have you thinking and questioning to help you clarify your message that you wanna share about your truth, about who you really are in the world. Some of that would be how I really feel about this. Do, how do I really feel about this situation, this experience, what I'm about to do, what I already did, what I'm trying to plan? How do I really feel about it? Do I really want to do it or have I, have I talked myself into believing that's what I want to do? I'm recommending really strongly to ask yourself that. Am I doing this because I really want to or I've talked myself into it and I'm believing something that I thought that I wanted, but now I'm, I always find that I get, there's this thing that holds back, something like that. And, and it will help you clarify that. And it's like, it's how it will help you discover what's the truth you've been hiding from yourself. You know, like what you don't want to see. Not everybody's going to be feeling like this. And if you feel like, no, this is what I really want to do, then you go with it. Try to be flexible going with the flow. And then if you find that it's, you know, hitting a wall and redirecting you this way, it'll help you find the path easier. It lights it up that way for you. Um, Gabriel will be really good with this. Gabriel, uh, this month, for the next few weeks with this energy, would be great to work with. And it's right before we go into a really sensitive sign, the emotional water sign, Cancer. So that sign, you know, that one can kind of, you know, be a little bit more emotional. Uh, it's a nurturing sign. All, all of those things have a very positive aspect as well. But there's always the shadow that can teach us something of everything that we experience. So what we're doing today is diving into this energy. Uh, we are a, right at a halfway point of the year. This year is a big year to get us ready to move into new energies and new frequencies. So that's what we're sharing about today. And we're going to start this off. We're going to start this off by learning a little bit more about Gabriel and how he can help you. So he's, you know, so I say he, but sometimes the persona is more of a female. Uh, angels, the way I know them, do, are genderless. So it's kind of like us just trying to speak in our earthly language to refer to them. So you know, if you feel more of a feminine energy with that, that's fine too, because it is a very creative energy uh, with Gabriel, which would be more of the feminine energy that we have within ourselves. But then there's these other dynamics too. So just to not be confusing to everybody with that. I'm going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll start taking some calls. If you want to call in 1-800-930-2819. We also have our live chat on YouTube, Bob. So hello to everyone over there. Good to see you. And you can put some questions up over there if you like. Uh, we're also live streaming on Facebook through Transformation Talk Radio. So you can find us in a few places. That's our video streams, YouTube and Facebook. And or audio. So we're going to take that quick break. When we come back, we're just going to keep going, diving in into who Archangel Gabriel is and this Gemini energy and how we can really step up to the plate and own who we really are. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. 
This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Welcome back to the show. We're talking about Archangel Gabriel and this energy of self-expression with Gemini energy, uh, being your true self, just how it all works together. So it's a really fascinating energy that we have. Now, what are some things about Archangel Gabriel? So here's how this can work with this energy of that true authentic self. First of all, Gabriel can help you with the communication with your inner self. For example, not just communicating with outside of yourself with someone else or an, and as an expression, but are you hearing and are you clear within yourself? There's a communication system inside, kind of like your home network with your computers. Then you have your connection to the internet. That's outside of yourself. And that's a good way to have an analogy with this. So you have a couple of different communication systems there in this universe of, that's called you. So one of those things that you want to look at with this energy is looking and deciding how you want to be, how you want to respond, how you want to act. Do you need to gather more information? This is totally Gemini, but see, Gabriel can help with that. Um, do I need more information? Do I need to understand it more? Watch out for the overanalyzing on that. But, or do I just need to let it go? Do I just need to move on? If you find that it's redundant and you're going in circles and it's like, I'm not getting anywhere. I just keep thinking about this and it's not going anywhere. Maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe you should ask yourself that and then listen and feel that response from your inner network. 
not necessarily from outside of yourself, your inner network, your inner network. Now, this is a really good time because you're trying to sort out and sometimes there's a lot of different things you're trying to sort out. You might be feeling like you're really multitasking in an overdrive. Really good thing is journaling, talking or thinking out loud. You know, when you're by yourself, think out loud. There's nothing wrong with thinking out loud. People say, I don't want to talk to myself. I do. I'll claim it. Okay. I talk to myself and I answer myself <laughs> and, and I'll, I'll even say, Hey, don't interrupt me while I'm talking to myself. It's kind of a joke with me because I'll think out loud to hear it out into the real world when it's just kind of rumbling around in there and it helps me process it. That's it. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't get anywhere if you were around a lot of people doing that because they think they're, they'll think you're talking to them. But this is like something when you're on your own, uh, if you're not into writing or journaling, uh, then speak out loud, speak out loud and hear it in your world. Just hear what it sounds like, you know, F feel it that way. It can make a difference. Uh, it will also help you know if this is the right timing or not. Uh, Gabriel can help with that. Like, is this the timing? For this or do I need to gather more information or do I need to understand it better or do I need to just go for it and try you don't want to get so hung up in it now that's the thing with the Gemini twin thing you can get over analytical but then at the same time you want to process and you want to go through the checklist of okay let me see if I'm ready to do this because so nine times out of ten you probably are and maybe there's just a couple of pieces of information that you needed to gather and you're ready to go. And don't worry about the outcome because the outcome, there's always something we get from just applying. If you show the effort, that's how the universe brings even more of that to you. So you want to put your, your dreams and your thoughts into action. Yeah. Now, this is an air sign, so it's all thinky and mental. And then at the same time, that's your creative. So you want to work with that creative side of your brain. You want to get into that. How can I truly just be creative and express like me, you know, like who I am and how I can just vibrate at my best in a positive way in the frequencies and just put that out there in the world and say, this is who I am. This is what I want to share with you. And then see what happens see what comes back. So that's one of the things it can be a little overthinking, remember, but it's okay. It wants facts. It wants to understand it. It wants to see if it all plays out. That's okay. If you have to make drawings or sketches or what a lot of people in the work field call brainstorming, you know, you, you've got your little, clouds you draw everywhere with thoughts and ideas and it's an organizing tool. This is perfect energy for that to help you sort it out. Gabriel's right there to help you communicate that. But communication starts with your inner network, then connect it to the internet and broadcast with who you are. So that, that's a good analogy for this energy, I think. It really goes, okay, that makes sense. So let's see what's happening here. Um, Okay. We have over, we have a question over in YouTube, relaxing meditations. I spoke my truth about how someone made me feel asking to stop and it backfired. I wonder if it was intentional. Does Gabriel have any advice on dealing with people that want to make you feel bad? That would be toxic energy, just not a vibrational match, obviously. Um, that's going to be very common with people that aren't on the same frequency level with you. I deal with it all the time. Uh, honestly, that's limit the exposure and move on. Honestly. Um, sometimes that's a family member or somebody you can't just do that with. That would be an inner detachment, you know, what we call cord attachments and energy. And we have attachments to everybody. You have more attachments out there than you realize. You know, if you have a 
a connection or a relationship or any kind of experience with anybody, there's like this connection. Now you can cut that. You can sever that. So it's not affecting you that way. And then it's, this is how I feel about it and standing in that. A lot of the times, and this is not to make it about that you did anything wrong. You didn't. I'm proud of you that you spoke your truth. When we speak our truth and sometimes just practicing it, this is what Gabriel is saying to me. This is what I'm asking right now. It's like asking for that. Um, and I like this. I think I'm going to pocket this for my future dealings with things like that. Is you, you need to say something or speak up about something with someone else like that. You do it. It backfires. Like she says, it didn't go very well. That's where you stop right there. And you realize I'm believing their opinion of me. Wow. I don't want to do that anymore. And then you go, you know what? I'm not your opinion of me. That that's my favorite thing that Wayne Dyer would say. And it's, it's so liberating because we're just believing their perspective. Your perspective's completely different. That's what we're learning to practice an anchor to. So when you're cutting that cord, it might be a mother, a child, or, you know, a spouse that you can't just leave. You know, you can't just like, wait, this is a family member. Um, but you don't have to believe their, their perspective and their opinions. That's their journey. And what's happened with us, and we don't realize it, is that we're believing theirs, not ours. So the key is you're kind of doing a cord cutting of, okay, I'm not going to stay with that one. And you'll, you may have to do it a few times to practice it, especially if it's been years and years and years, or, you know, this is just, you weren't aware. You know, like, I'm not going to go with that anymore. And then you're attaching a cord with your own inner network. You're going to listen to your intuition. You're going to listen to what's right for you. And you keep going and they may not like it. They'll always have their opinions. Some of them will never change. Some of them will always be that way. They'll grumble under their breath, whatever it is they do. Knock yourself out. It's not affecting me anymore because I'm not attached to that plug anymore. I'm on my network over here. That's what I'm suggesting, okay? And then I'm seeing, um, oh, that's a good one too, David. Like that one. David's saying, I write so much that I use my notes in the iPhone a lot. If, anywhere, if anyone ever got a hold of, oh, maybe I shouldn't be reading. <laughs> yeah, I hope you got good passwords on your phone, David. He says, if any, anyone ever got a hold of my phone, they would know way too much about me. That's kind of what social media does, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Okay. That's great. I love that. You keep your strong passwords and, you know, thumbprint. I, you know, every, everything you can do. I love that. Um, but really guys try to embrace. And if you need to take some notes and write this down, do it because that internet word is completely different that you want to listen to. You want to believe you want to embrace and you want to live. That's being connected to your truest self. Then you connect to your outward internet. You see what I'm saying? You're, you know, that's two different things. You see what I'm saying? And that's going to help you. If you were to go there first and go, wait, where am I? Where do I believe with that? So with her, um, with her example that she experienced where it didn't go very well, it made her feel bad about herself. That's the cord you want to cut. Like, okay, I'm pulling the internet out for a minute. I'm going to go back over here and see where I am on that. Then when you reconnect, you're not going to go to that website anymore. You know, it's kind of like that. So I hope that helps you relaxing meditations. Give it a go because most of the time we're just believing what they say. We're so sensitive to it. And it's been years and years and years of that. I mean, I have to check it too. I'm way better than I used to be on it, but it's still, you know, it happens. It affects you. And empathic people are super sensitive like that, but that's not a bad thing. Super sensitive people like that. And you're highly intuitive. You're really, you can feel the world. You feel the energy. You're going to feel people shift. You're going to feel when their opinion changes. You're going to feel when they go, 
down a more negative uh, emotion like they just got irritated or they disgruntled or whatever. You're going to feel it, but it's not yours. It's the same principle. It's not yours. It's theirs. They can feel that way all day long if they want, but we don't have to let it hurt us. So it's kind of like the glass house, you know, you know, you don't want to live in the glass house. That's kind of one of those analogies as well. So th this thing is so uh, dynamic because we're sorting it out. Gabriel helps you clarify this with this energy. Because if we're trying to do a mind, body, soul alignment this year, which is the theme for the whole year, a lot stronger right now with this Gemini energy. Gabriel is perfect for that because we're trying to do self-expression, creativity, be creative, change our life. How are we going to reroute it? That takes creativity. It doesn't necessarily just mean art or writing a book or anything. It means how am I going to redirect my life? That takes some creative juices flowing. Okay. So you want to, you want to listen to that. Aligning with your soul is aligning with your authentic, truest self. Yeah, there's going to be people out there. They're going to have an opinion about it because that's where they are because they're not working on their inner. They're worried about what everybody else is doing. You see, you're going to have that out there. And I know it can be challenging. I trust me. I know because sometimes I just have to really put extra effort with some people for myself too. But it's worth this. It's worth it to practice this. It absolutely is. Now, something else we have coming from the chat is um, let's see, Cato, let's see, what is Gabriel advice on my anxiety? I feel like it's stopping me in my creative writing. I get that anxiety. Well, anxiety is fear. It's kind of a manifestation of fear. When you talk energy metaphysics, um, are you afraid that you won't do it good enough? What's the, what's the fear? If you think about when you're doing your creative writing, What's the fear? Because kind of calling it out and putting it on top of the table. Um, this is one way of working with the anxiety is, you know what? I'm just afraid of what success that I'm going to write a really good one here or that I won't do it good enough. Which one is that one falling into place for you? Then when you find that, and this is what I'm getting from Gabriel, when you find that, now you ask me to say, okay, I want to align with the true with truth here and then go into some slow breathing, deep breaths, just embracing that life force that comes into your lungs, releasing out the anxiety. I mean, breathing will automatically help that physical body response because that's kind of a anxiety kind of as a physical response to the fear and stress energy. It's, you know, that's what that is. So breath and meditation, breath works, meditation and going slower and just soothing literally hits that switch and your body responds automatically because it's kind of like a robot really. It just, oh, okay, don't be stressed anymore. It'll help that part physically almost immediately. And then it will trickle back into why am I getting so worked up? What am I afraid of? I'm going to have, I'm going to do well. I'm not going to do well. Where am I being difficult with myself? Where, where is that belief? That's where this energy will help you so much. This will help you so much in diving in and clarifying and releasing that block. And you might find that you have to do stop and do the breathing a lot at first. And then it's like, you know what? Breathe, write a sentence or two. And if it starts again, stop, breathe, write a sentence or two, but just do it anyway. And then an attitude of, hey, I'm just going to do it. It's probably going to be like, yuck, and just brain dumping, and then something that only you see, and then just get rid of it. Uh, nobody needs to see it. You're just kind of getting that clutter out of the mind energy and the thought energy that can be the over analytical side. Remember that I was talking about with the Gemini. And this is all what Gabriel is saying. It's like, you got this. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this. She's saying it's not good enough. Okay. Don't, you know what? That would be build on it one step at a time. You know what? Put it out there 
and then do it again and do it again and do it again. Because guess what? I wasn't very good at a lot of things until I just kept trying and trying and trying again. So don't be afraid to mess it up the first few times. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to mess it up. Just do it. This is a go with it. Just go for it. Do it. This is one of the best times to dive into creative work. Journaling, writing, it's going to be a very good time for that. So you should ride this wave all the way in. Absolutely ride this wave all the way in. Okay, we are going to switch over to the phones for a moment. We have a caller, so let's bring the caller on. We have Deborah from Missouri. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, Deborah. How are you? Hi, pretty good. What can we do for you? My, yeah, my question is, I'm noticing I don't want to be around people. And I was wondering what, what angels want to talk to me about this. It's a very common experience, just so you know, so you don't feel isolated in it. It, it um, I mean, you want to make sure we don't have depression or anything like that, but I don't feel that with you. Honestly, I don't feel that. I mean, everybody goes up and down, but I don't feel like that's the concern. I don't, but please make sure that's not what it is. But when we're working deep to go inside and hear ourselves, sometimes we got to turn off all the other channels outside. Sometimes we have to just kind of take a little retreat and just be with our own company so we can sort out where we are and where we stand. And that's what I feel from you. And that is coming from Gabriel, actually, because Gabriel is so strong today with this whole show. But that is truly a, not such a bad thing. I look forward to that, those times where I just want to be to myself. Um, I can be around people just fine. It's just that sometimes I just need some time to myself and that's how I replenish. Empathic people will feel that way more than not because we absorb so much when we're out there in the world. And I feel like you just need a inner time out vacation, you know, so you can just be with your own energy so you can hear it. And that's why you would want to be to yourself. You can hear easier. And then eventually we get to where we're more balanced, where we can still hear it and be with other people. But sometimes it's just so loud and noisy out there. It feels good to get away from all the noise. Does it feel like it's anything like that? Because I'm not picking up that there's any, anything to be concerned about, but I just want to make sure. I don't want to assume. Yeah, no. Yeah, I agree with you. Because <laughs> some, some of the energies and what people talk about and stuff i just want to i just you know if i get a chance i just walk away if i can so yeah right and when we are working especially everybody right now we're all working to be true to ourselves you may find that things you used to be able to tolerate in groups or around others is harder to tolerate at the moment because you're still a little bit raw in working with your new energy or not really new, just aligning with it. And you want to support and nurture that like a beautiful brand new baby or a beautiful brand new garden that you've planted. You want to nurture that. You want to tend to that. I mean, if you think about it, when we do something like that, we don't have all this extra energy for everywhere else. We want, we want to tend to that. And for most people that are trying to do this right now, they have spread themselves so thin, they don't have anything left for themselves. Then you can feel like, I need some time to myself so I can just breathe. I think that's what it is for you. Uh, I, I do want to make sure you're okay, you know, the other way, but you don't sound like that. I don't feel that I've known you for a while and you've called in quite a bit. So I don't think that's what it is, but, um, don't take my word for it, but I know that you would speak up if it wasn't. And, right. And you know, if, you know, if you're always there for others and now you just want some time to yourself, what's wrong with that? That's the balancing act. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think okay. 
Yeah, you it gives you opportunity to listen inward more when there's not so much uh, outside noise. So do that. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you Deborah. Yeah. That was a good one. Bye bye. But yeah, that was actually a good question. And I'm gonna do. Let's see. Let's do a little bit more before we take a quick break. Um, playing music. Yeah, you know I love classical music when I'm being creative without words and then when I'm cleaning my house I use classic rock I love it I'm seeing um, oh <laughs> David uses heavy metal so he's a little more Metallica um, <laughs> that's great oh my gosh um, yeah, I mean, I use music different ways, different frequencies of music. I love classical. Believe it or not, my dog, Emmy, loves classical music. I mean, she will go and stand in front of the, of the, of the tuner and she wants me to turn it on and then she'll lay in front of it to have her little doggy nap. And I, at first I thought, are you actually telling me that you want to listen to that? And that's what she's doing. She wants the music on, but she wants it to be classical music. But I love classical music for art. If I'm painting, if I'm writing, if I'm working, you know, if I'm, you know, doing any kind of study or reading, that's what I listen to because I don't want any words or for that matter, screaming and yelling, <laughs> you know, you know, grunge, whatever. But, um, but yeah, you know, I'm kind of a favorite fan of classic rock when it comes to like, I need to get motivated and move. Yeah. And then, you know, you're, you're getting things done that way. So I use it different ways. Music has frequency. All those different tunes have frequency. So that's perfect. Um, and absolutely you're asking, yes, you're asking angels to help you. Yes. You're asking the universe, you, you just open up to it. And that's why we were talking about Gabriel today because of this energy. So know that the Gemini sign and the energy of right now, it wants to know what's going on. Okay. It wants to know what's going on. Gabriel can help you find inside to know what's going on. So which path is right for you? And some of it might feel like, oh, wow, that's going to really upset the apple cart. Well, maybe it's about time you did. Maybe it's time you did make those big changes. This is a really good time. If you are wanting to start something creative or a project like that, if you want to start journaling, maybe you've never journaled before and you want to try, do it. If you've been into metaphysics or you've been on this path for a while, sit down and try some automatic writing. That's cool too. You just don't have a thought. You don't, and you know what, for, for the Cato, for the one with the creative writing, that might be an excellent tool for you. You sit down with no idea what you're going to write. You just sit down, you meditate and you ask to connect with yourself, your higher soul, your higher self. You just go in there and you go, what do you what do I need to know? How can I connect? You, you want to hear your inner and just either type or write. I think when you're doing uh, automatic writing, it, I like it better to use a pen and paper old school style because your energy is coming through that way. You can use a computer and type too, but why not do it that way? Just see what flows and don't worry about typos, grammar, any of that. Just, just go bleh all over the page and see what happens and just keep going until it spins out and then go back through and see if there's any kind of interesting insights or messages in that for you. It's a fun thing to try. I like to do it with painting. I've done it with writing and I'll go paint to be able to write something creative. I know. Sometimes we just have to go in a different direction. Uh, get away from our expert, our, our, our skill that we know well and try something different. And then it helps us open up and gets all those uh, assuming boundaries out of the way. Because sometimes if you're doing what you always do, like say it's always writing, try doing something you don't know how to do. It totally gets your mind out of your own way. 
And, and for me with art, say, example, I love to use acrylic paints and oil paints more than, and pastels more than watercolor. When I feel like, okay, I need to go into something that I need to understand better, I'll do something in an art form that I'm not very good at. Totally changes everything. Totally opens it up. So guys, that's very, very cool to try and give that a go. Yes, go, she's saying she's going, I want you to give that a try. I think you would love it. And if you got away, if you always use a computer or if you always do however you do it, go completely in a different place with it. Even try maybe a different space because with pen and paper, you can, you have the freedom of getting away from the computer a little bit too. Um, just do it. Gabriel is absolutely a good angel to help with writing. Yes, it's the creativity angel. It's writing, it's creative arts, it's performing arts, it's any, any kind of art form. It's also good with nurturing something brand new that you want to start. So I'm going to take a really quick break before we run out of time, a short one, and then when we come back, we will wrap the show up. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We'll be right back. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. Okay, we're back and we're going to wrap it up with just a few minutes left in the show. I want to go over to one more question. It's a good one. It's Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Good to see your beautiful face over there. She is saying, I feel like I've been taking time to listen for a while, but as I've let others in, I've been seeing things needing that need more healing. Okay, I see what you're saying. Does Gabriel have advice for staying connected while healing with the people? Is that what you mean? I think that's what you're asking while staying connected. I think that's what you're asking. Um, okay, I'm going to ask what he wants to share with you. Hang on. So, yes, actually, that sounds very productive and, and the healing and the work that's happening as you connect with new people and as you're with people, you've let others in and you start to find that you've changed a little bit and you start to see areas that used maybe it used to work when you would start a brand new relationship with somebody it doesn't work the same way that's what i'm picking up from gabriel right now it's okay you're tweaking and fine-tuning where you really want to be um one of the things that can help is you know a relationship doesn't have to go too fast keep it at a level that is comfortable for you if you need it to not just get too deep or entangled yet till you gather more information. Perfect with Gabriel right now and this Gemini energy. It's maybe I just need a little more information before I take this even further. Because you're healing, your healing and your frequency goes up. We don't always want to tolerate the things we used to tolerate before because you've changed. That's a self-love that's starting to kick in. And as we go into new experiences because we pulled back and gotten away. And that's exactly what happens when you go solitude, like Deborah was talking about earlier. 
you go into your own space to figure out where you want to be. Then we go back out there and some of it's going to work, some of it's not. And with some of that, you can still be polite, stay connected with these people, but maybe not too deep because it's not an alignment for either one of you. Really, it won't feel right anyway. And then it will help keep it open. It keeps the lanes open for what does align with you that way. But with some brand new things that are coming in, and it might be old. It might be old relationships you're letting in. If they want to stay the same and you've changed, that may feel off and it's okay. That doesn't mean anything's wrong. It just is showing you clarity on where you are and where you want to go. Gabriel absolutely is a very gentle nurturing angel for this that can really help clarify where do I want to go with this? How do I really feel about this? That's what this is about. So I hope that helps you, Maddie. Because, okay, she said, yeah, okay, she confirmed what I was asking about. Yeah, you don't have to, like, cut everything right off. I think it's, it's just you're, you're still processing it. And there, you're actually making a lot of process. You are progress is what I meant to say. You're actually doing really well. I'm really super proud of you. Um, the, you know, when you've gone through a lot and then you pull back and then you start going back in it, you know, a lot of stuff has to fine tune itself and you're going to let it go with the flow and let it see where it settles. Just let it settle in where it's going to be. That's what you want. Cause you want to you keep your freedom that you fought so hard to have. You don't want that to start going down the wrong direction or repeating an old pattern. I'm picking that up a little bit that you don't want to lose your freedom that you, you found. Is that right? Because I'm really feeling that with you, Maddie. Oh, yeah, I, you're not going to lose it because you're on it. I think you're very aware. It's, it's okay to have a boundary here, back, staying back a little bit. You don't have to be BFF with everybody. You know, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be that all the way in. It doesn't have to be like that. You have different levels and stages of how close you are with different people right now. Why can't you? Who says you can't do that? Has anybody ever said, oh, you got to either be here or not? When it comes to a personal intimate relationship, yeah, okay, you're either there or you're not. But then if it's just a casual acquaintance here and there, that's totally different. Yes, you, okay, she's validating that to me. Thank you, Maddie. You know what? I think you're just fine. I think you just have a couple of different levels and they're okay and you just need to know there's nothing wrong with that. And you just are gathering and assessing where you want to be and where they're coming from and then you can make choices. And you know what? If it doesn't go too far too deep before you know that, it's a lot easier to let it fall away if it needs to. Doesn't, you know, it's easier. You just when you think about those cord attachments of energy between people, some are huge and just massive like tree trunks. That's a lot of attachment that's hard to untangle later if you want to. And then there's smaller ones. So just don't let them grow too big. Keep that garden weeded out a little bit until you know what you want to do. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. And I hope that makes sense. And that was good from Gabriel today. And I hope that you guys can take what we've talked about today and you can apply it with whatever you're trying to sort out within your inner network, within your own self, because that's truly what you want to do. That's really why you came here is to express that truth from your soul. And the only way to do that is to be with that inner network and to learn what that is, because that's what we want to see. That's what you want to do. That's how you're going to shine. That's how you're going to raise that frequency. That's, that is bringing heaven on earth. Really, honestly, that lifts everything up in, in all ways. It changes everything about how your reality is experienced. I want to say thank you guys so much for being here with us today. 
I've enjoyed this show. I love this show, the creative. I'm thinking about what I can do with it now because I want to tap in and figure some things out too. Uh, we have a long holiday weekend here in the States, so I want to wish everyone a beautiful holiday. Please stay safe. I also want to say thank you to those that have served this country. I, I appreciate your sacrifices and what you've done. Uh, my entire family, both my sons have done that. And I just want to say thank you to them uh, and their families and their wives and everybody that has sacrificed, you know, while they're out there risking a life. And for those that aren't with us anymore, you are not forgotten because I think about it all the time. I'm about to cry because this kind of thing is a little sensitive for me. Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm crying on the air. Now I got to go. Oh, I got the zero. I have to go. Oh, I love you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.